So a quick video on how to get the carb out of the bike the best way, my way. It's not the only best way, but it's my way. So I'm gonna take this clip off so we don't lose it. And then we're gonna start removing the carb. Oh, one well, the first thing, the choke cable. Grab it, pull it straight back so now it'll move. You gotta check that whenever you go to move the carb, it hasn't sucked it back in. And then you break your plastic choke nut. Moving to the other side. We're gonna start removing the clamps. It's right around freezing out here, so it's a little cold, my nose is running. I'm gonna just twist this around and spread it a little bit. And then it'll come right out. And then the other clamp. The other clamp. We're just gonna take the screw out. And it can stay there. You slide it ahead a little bit if you want. Don't drop the screw. It can be hard to find. Next is throttle cables. And just tuck nicely out of the way over here. Now the trick of the whole deal and this is hard because it's cold. Right around freezing. I take the heel of the screwdriver and push the boot off the back of the curb. Just like that. And then making sure the choke cable is still able to bend. Pull the curb straight back and it pops right out. And then this is the reason you took the little clip off because you drag that out. The next step, if I was going to work on it, was to plug the intake boot and the airbox boot, but I'm not. This is install, uh, removing and install. So I put it back in. So same thing. You just want to use the back of the carb to fold that boot over, and then you pull. I'm get this fuel line in the right direction, and then you just guide the front in as you're pulling back wiggle it around the front in now we gotta get the back in so what i normally do to get the back on is i stick a screwdriver in here and start working it and this is really cold. When you get to this point, if you roll the screwdriver, you don't tear the boot. You just work it around, work it back on. Check the choke cable's still free, and it wasn't. Work back in. So you wanna make sure that moves pretty easy. You know that it's, feel around the back. You can feel the boot is on all the way. So we're going to put the clamps back on. Starting with the intake. Let me get my fingers in here. It's lined up right now. I know the video is a little gonna be a little dark. 
hopefully it'll be good enough. This is my first video ever, so. And we don't want to over tighten that. You just snug it till it feels a little, starting to get a little tension. And then as long as you can't turn it very easy, you're good. You don't want to crush everything. So this we want to end up like that. So we just feed it around. It's good to get your finger in here and push it in the groove. Move it around so you can feel it seated in the groove. Then I'll put the screw back in. I'm just going to start it and then again move it around make sure it's seated and if if the screws just started and it's properly seated it should be loose if you've got the boot off anywhere it won't move it has to be moving free like that tighten that guy back up all right now you don't need to murder tight that thing that's good, everything's solid. Turn on the throttle cables. Uh, short one. I'm gonna check with the throttle. Yeah, a short one goes here. And how I usually set them, I can feel how much play is there. So we can go quite a ways, but not all the ways. Still got play there, just a little bit. I'll tighten that guy down. And then, I'll operate the throttle. And I've got him on backwards, look at that. I thought so. I'm gonna go like this. You know, butter with the right amount of throttle play. Everything's tight. Now we put, I want to put the choke cable back in. That's the last step and an important step. And if you don't do it, your bike won't run and you could follow your plug and then it won't run until you get a new plug and fix the problem. So I just pushed it straight back in. You can check your free play on your lever up here and I leave lots of free play in mine so mine's got it's good that's it it's back in you put the clip back on your fuel line and put her back together less than 10 minutes thank you have a good day <laughs>